good enough. You guys ready to get this thing rolling? Yes. Where's Tom's yep. at? Get them, get them. I don't know if Tom's going to come out. Uh, yeah. If you want to do headphones, you can do headphones. If you don't, I like it. Real people don't use Let's it. get it rolling. It's the Blousey Show Around Sundown After Dark with your host Brian Chamberlain, presented by Sundown Audio. Hey, hey, ho- hold on right there. Before you, before you go any further on the video, let's take a little moment. Scroll down. I know, I know you're all cozied up with your lady. You know, she's to your side. You got your, got your bowl of popcorn. You're in your underwear. I understand that. But it's starting to get a little cold outside, you know? And, you know, what do you do when it gets cold? Well, you buy warmer clothes. So go ahead and scroll down. You'll see down there is a little, little ad. It's got some sundown merchandise. We got hoodies. Go ahead and check them out. Before you get any further, just check out the hoodies. All right? All right. We're here. We got a whole room full of people. Actually, we're still, we're still missing one seat, but maybe Howdy. maybe Thomas will roll in. We got some big guests on the show today, folks. We got one literally big guest right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a fat joke? <laughs> More so, of a tall joke, you know? <laughs> to my left here, we've got Kyle Lindsay, also known as Saab Kyle 4 online. What's You'll up? see him on YouTube and Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. And we got Ben Line back from Extraordinary Audio. And what we're going to do today is we're going to first probably talk to Ben first, get, get your whole situation rolling here, and we're going to talk to Kyle, we're going to get your whole situation rolling here, and then we're going to figure out why the two of you came here together. All right. How's that sound? I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> and we got some <laughs> drinks on the table. Let's go ahead and crack open these yeah, drinks. Man. Let's well, see what this Brian's is got some. About. Brian's got some low-budget scotch here. <laughs> Why'd you have to bring in the budget, huh? Speaking of low-budget, <laughs> can I get the other cutter? This one sucks. <laughs> yeah, man. You got the scutter? The scutter. Dude, this thing sucks. Look at this. There you go. Oh, wow. It's flimsy as shit, dude. Yeah. So, anyway, Ben. Um, I smoke cigarettes. I don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ben, you've been. Kyle, you want some? I guess we'll start with you. Sure, that's um, fine. You've been uh, a dealer of ours for quite some time now. Mm-hmm. Probably going, what, five, six years? Five somewhere, six, in that, yeah. somewhere in that range. Um, hell, we were in Claremont when you started with us. And you were uh, not too far from us. So, I, a lot of times we have you come here. To help do some stuff for us, or we'll go to you and do stuff, you know, with you, yep. um, like remote starts and shit like that. Things that we don't feel like doing here at the shop, we're not comfortable with. Nice. So, yeah, <laughs> I like the burp. So, um, I guess let's start from the beginning. Your career, because I like to go to the, the, b- the beginning of people's career. Um, you know how you got started. You know where you are now. How you got to that p- that point in life. So, Ben's a very good installer. He does a lot of good custom work. Yeah, I've got a older brother that started me messing around with his car when I was like fourteen. Do you so. not? Do you not hear anything? Does he dip? My head. My headphones went out. Of course he did. <laughs> Damn it, Brian! Hello. Oh, oh here, there it goes. I can hear now. Are you back? I think so. Yeah. All I did. All I did was touch Welcome. something. Welcome. See, <laughs> see, technical problem. I told you <laughs> something. Right. Something was going to happen. Here's Thomas. Come on in, Thomas. <laughs> hey, Thomas. <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, yeah. How, how did things start up for you, Ben? Yeah, I just started when I was young and then uh, started professionally oh, right back in 2000. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah worked for so 20 years ago. A lot of shops. Heck yeah. So started my own uh, going on seven years ago. Always in the same building or? Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, much. For when you went on your own? Yeah, since I've been on my own, I've been in the same spot. Gotcha. So. And at some point you picked on, you picked on, picked up some Sundown Audio. Yeah, just and so kind of like how, you know why did you pick us and i know we're local-ish to you you know we're only what an hour away yeah by the way ben's well or ben's um based out of winston-salem right what so yes yeah bring that mic up a little bit closer to you if you could yeah grab grab Not it by better. this grab it by this part and just pull it to you <laughs> there you go that way we can we can hear your sexy there voice. we go is that better that's much that's better, better. <laughs> great <laughs> but uh, uh we picked sundown after going to a show and seeing how y'all actually did in the the lanes nice um, just wanted something to complement my boxes i've always been where i kind of strive i think is the boxes gotcha i wanted to blend boxes looking good with great output 
and not really sacrificing on the quality of the sale. Right. Would you say they're extraordinarily good? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, can Bowl you pass circle. me some sketch? I can't. Yeah. Ben, I just really like your dog. A yeah. lot. Oh, dude. Every yes. time you come by and don't have your dog, I'm a little disappointed. I mean, I like... I like seeing you too, pal, but I really <laughs> like your dog. Yeah, she's just, uh, the older she gets, she's just not doing as well with uh, new people. Yeah, but we're not new. Well, that's, that's the thing. So you, you have a, she's a Mastiff, right? Yeah. So yeah, I had a see. dog that looked exactly like your dog. Um, and Callie, as she, right? as, Yeah, Callie. As she got older, she wasn't too good around people she didn't know. Yeah, that's um, a, the older she gets, she's just skittish. Yeah. Well, I remember the first time I met I met your dog. In, in your shop I was, you know, it took her maybe a couple of minutes to get used to me but then the last time I went when you were doing my remote start for me hell it probably took a good half hour for it to even come near me yep that's how she is yep. you can't look at her you can't reach for her <laughs> yeah she just tucks her tail and runs you're good puppy you're good, <laughs> good puppy you're good puppy that's exactly what you gotta do <laughs> 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 you puppy yo that's a true story. So, yeah, he's got a shop dog, so don't go trying to steal shit from Ben. Yeah. Just saying, folks. That's a big-ass dog. So. It's a little large. Yep. <laughs> so you've been with us for a while. I've been doing a lot of cool systems. Uh, I did pull up your um, Facebook page to show off some of your work. Maybe we can talk about that a little bit. All right. So, Let's uh, do it. Uh, let me get this rolling here. All right. So uh, you have uh, one customer of yours. I know you have, like, a really big build. It's kind of like your shop build you did for him. I saw that in here somewhere. It's probably closer to the low. There we go. There's one. That's pretty right there. Yeah, that's what Nightshades. Awesome. Yep. So that's a fourth order in that vehicle, right? What, tell us about that build, by the way. Uh, that one started as four ZV5. Okay. Um, we were running them on Orion amplifiers, customer supplied. And we ended up getting to around a 159.8. Uh, and yeah. kind of maxed out there. Yeah. At uh, low, low frequency, though, right? Uh, 39 hertz yeah and those are those are salt 12s yeah, that was he, salt he, 12. he did change the amps at one point but yes those are uh, originally there were salt 12s what actually um, before that you had something else in there you so you it? got to a 59 with the zv5s mm -hmm. what do you do now uh with the salts they did a 60.9 on the first hit heck yeah and then we had some issues right and so you're not using the salts anymore are you we're running C Max in that one, yeah. and our voltage is so. Mm -hmm. And that's you know what? Let's we can talk about this a little bit. So Ben's a, a good example for the the reasons why to not use salt amps on high voltage, you know, because originally that's they don't what like you were it. doing. They don't like yeah, it. Yeah, yep. definitely not the twills. They they did not like what we were doing. Well, well. Are you you were a half ohm per amp too, weren't you? Yeah. Half yeah. Ohm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so there you go. <laughs> Mike's not in here. Don't tell Mike. <laughs> la 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 la. But in all honesty, so, though, I, you, I mean, you didn't make me a sub that I could actually get to half <laughs> home. So, right? Did yeah. you, uh, you? I guess you're still over a sixty, I assume, with your new stuff. Yes. Yeah. It, it's. We didn't get to honestly test it, but physically felt louder with the new setup. Yeah. There's the inside of the box right there. In general, if you are in North Carolina, uh, near the Greensboro, Winston Salem area, that that. What do they call that? The triangle or whatever out there? Triad. Triad. Mm -hmm. If you're out that way, go ahead and check out Ben Storinary Audio. Um, he does some amazing work. Pretty cool. With our do you guys do equipment. fiberglass and stuff? Oh, man, I, I love pumpkin yes, pie. I can. <laughs> I try to stay away from it, right, honestly. Right. It's too time consuming. <laughs> Damn it, Donnie. Here's a pumpkin for you, Donnie. Oh, I love pumpkins. <laughs> I love sure pumpkin do you like pie. pumpkins, Cat. Yeah, yeah, me too. It says so on my Facebook. Yeah, that's the locksmith man we're working on now. Oh cool. yeah, I, dude, that's awesome. That's so, pretty sick. So that, that that guy's been here, by the way. Yeah, Ooh. that guy's been here. The, the locksmith, locksmith guy. guy? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he'll come up you here know, and pick stuff up for me. I used to work in the key industry before I started Sundown Audio. Did you really? At the Howard Keys Company in Charlotte. I know nothing about. Yeah, keys. they they uh, supply like all the locksmiths around here with like. No, no, key but see, oh, wow. you you do remote starts. Remember back when you used to put a key in a little box yep. to do a remote start? He worked for a company that made those keys. Yeah, they supplied like all nationwide, like thousands and thousands and thousands of transponder keys. We shipped out everywhere. That's crazy. That's that was crazy. that was my job before. Well, where sometime. was that at? Would you say that was Charlotte? the key to your oh, success? Okay. It was definitely <laughs> the key. You might even say it got me started. <laughs> oh, Maybe it man. opened a few doors. Oh, we're all fired. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> see, see what I've done. Oh, Jesus Christ! That was three in a row, man. We were getting on there. This Jesus. was a mistake. At this point, this is when Dave, this is this is when Dave busts through the door like the Kool Aid Man with another one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dave's rolls with him all day, all day, dude. So uh, I don't remember what the fuck I was going to say. <laughs> we're talking about Ben's extraordinarily good work. Oh, you have a. Uh, an old prison vehicle or some shit Ooh. that you're built. I that finally thing. got rid of that thing. Oh, you're not going to do it? I'm not going to do it. Oh, man. I, I was waiting was for Was it like a jail, jail truck or something? Yes. Yeah. That's Dude. That's cool. 3,500 Sprinter. That thing was awesome. Yeah. Still had the sails in the back of it. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. I could use that around here for some of these guys. Just throw them in there. Yeah. Sleep tank. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you working on now these days? Just, Just to busy? Keep up, man. Trying to it, keep up. It's been crazy. Maybe you can share a little bit about how retail has been for you with COVID stuff. I swear, people just sat around all day and just bought car stereos. Yeah, <laughs> and it's still that way. That's, that's kind of how it feels. Yeah, we're, we're running out of everything. Yeah. Right, radios. Right. It's not just Sundown products no, either. It's every brand is having issues. It's crazy, man. So, are you able to get head units at all? Like, do you have any head <laughs> units in your shop right now? No, I sold the last one today. Mm. And uh, yesterday, when I called, they had one model available. Wow. That, and they only have one unit available. That's crazy. So that thing's been gone. Damn. We, we had the, we talked to our dealer uh, in Tennessee, Saeed, and he was telling us the same thing. I guess he had, like, some sort of premonition, and he got, like, 150 head units before this all started. I literally so he was, just, like, the only dude with head units. Yeah. I literally just bought the head unit from Thomas's dad from him. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I think I asked you, but I mean, you didn't have any. Uh, J- um, Johnny didn't have any. Nobody's yeah, got been, head units. Yeah, I've been having customers literally order them online. That's crazy. Yeah. That's the only thing I can do at right. this point. At least you get the install work out of it. Yeah, the supply chain disruptions are crazy. I'd, people on Facebook are like, well, I don't understand why you guys don't have anything. I was like, well, nobody does. I mean, we're all trying. <laughs> yeah. What about uh, things like uh, wiring harnesses and dash kits, shit like that? Same deal? For a while with the painted dash kits, we were having an issue with that. Metro was running out of those. Right. Because they were waiting for somebody to spray them. <laughs> what they told me what colors are you talking about like the silver or the gloss black for like your tundra oh, and your, okay some of your toyotas are painted silver gotcha That's cool. i'm just used to putting black ones in right like yeah i'm like out of the install game myself it's been a long like, time yeah <laughs> it makes it look a lot more still oh yeah when it's painted the same colors as the factory radio do you guys oh. sell a lot of the like i know alpine makes these units that uh it's like replaces like the whole freaking dash do you guys do those are they any good i haven't done but one of the alpine units I saw those at CES, and I was just wondering if they were. Yeah, drink up, Kyle. Yeah, like you got to get you. Then you got like a nine Smooth. or ten inch screen. Yeah. Do, you, do, you, the front do of you feel it. like with the newer yeah. cars, you have to do that more, where you have to complete, like, completely replace the whole dash? Oh God! Like, yeah, these new vehicles. Certain cars suck. we just literally yeah. use like, like a you DSP. Have, you can't use right. like this. You almost can't take them out now. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. Almost, yeah. some of the vehicles you can't even take them out. It's not worth it. Yeah. No. I mean, they're they're so packed full of awesomeness anyway. The new ones, but they're really not because the factories controlling the crossover points we just have to integrate into it that's why that's why i'm getting into it i'm talking about the interface the interface is cool now with a lot of these newer vehicles you just have to do dsp oh yeah the ones you can yeah yeah i got you what um what was that company and i don't mind talking about um, uh, uh, no sponsorship but you showed me a device when i was over there last time that you were using i don't remember the company name let's talk about that because that was like had to do with um vehicle start you have the start stop shit Mm mm-hmm um, what what was all that? Uh, it's a company called Wave Tech. They've got a piece called an IRAD, and you can literally set it up off a of voltage. Yeah, and if you've got start stop feature on your vehicle, you pretty much need something like that. Yeah, or, or, or your subwoofer is going to turn off if you hook it to the factory radio. Yeah. Oh, yeah. While you're sitting at a light, which is where you want to annoy the yeah, hell out of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know a lot of BMWs. You know what I do when I get into my car? Like, I immediately yeah. press the sport button, which turns that shit off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's a refill. I don't even think about it. I get in, buckle, sport button. Yeah. And my, my kids even comment like, what do you press every time, Dad? I'm like, oh, shit, I didn't even think about it anymore. <laughs> that's a sport button, kids. <laughs> that, that's, my, that's what makes all that noise. Yeah. Actually, does your vehicle make that noise uh, when it shifts without that button? No. Yeah, yeah I've, you got to uh, press sport mode for it to go quack. You got to check out this car. I know you do vehicle uh, yeah, reviews. It barks about. at you. Yeah. <laughs> that shit's awesome. So, <laughs> But, yeah, um, yeah, the whole industry is, is down is is insane right now. Yeah. So, are you finding um, things slowing down as far as people buying things, or and or is equipment coming back into stock now? Or I know with us, it's not. It's still been crazy. It's still hit or miss over here. Pretty much the same. Get a little scared. We're we're our supply looks like it's going to get. Well, 
I had to say, pre- try to predict the future, but <laughs> we're getting a lot of shit all at once in like the middle of November. Right, right middle, before yeah. Christmas, thank God. Yeah, but then everybody's going to be like, hey, car idea for Christmas, hey. Yeah. <laughs> we, I, well, I, well, I think it's going to start before then. Right. You know, we, don't, a, we don't want to start seeing it ramping up pretty much by November 1st. Yeah, like, you know, I keep, get, I keep getting going. these uh, packing lists on container shipping. I'm like, oh, another one, oh, another one, oh, another one, oh, another one. I guess they finally caught up. This is good. <laughs> Have you, yep. you tried it? Actually, this is actually, for the price I paid for it. <laughs> Yeah, I think it tastes good. See, yeah. Brian thought he was buying the Conor McGregor shit cause yeah. it says, because it says McGregor on it. But Hun, what does that first one up. say? Clan. But we <laughs> drink that though. We drink the Conor McGregor, yeah. the proper twelve. We did yeah. that on an episode, didn't we? Yeah, uh, you remember. know what? And I think it's it's Is appropriate it that, that Conor McGregor sells it because it'll make you want to fight somebody. <laughs> oh, so so it's like so it's, it's like awesome. So it's like drinking <laughs> Kraken. It. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude. Well, I don't. I don't. No, no, I, no, it's I won't drink. Like I won't drink Kraken anymore. No, no, no. No, that stuff will Kraken mess Kraken is like up. a super, super dark rum. And Brian drank like a whole bottle one night. He yeah. was like fighting the floor. That was the <laughs> night of my birthday. We won't get into that. Fighting his floor in a drum drum set. <laughs> that was funny, though. No, that wasn't that night. That was your birthday, and we were going to Indian, but you bailed. <laughs> yeah. But Kaylee and I passed you I didn't bail. at the liquor store. I didn't bail. Everybody else bailed on my birthday dinner. No, so we, I was like, we went. We went and celebrated your birthday without you. Oh. Like, we just went and had Indian. Okay. Well, then. And, we, and I remember because we were passing the liquor store. I'm like, pretty sure it's Brian. We should have Indian. <laughs> <laughs> like, happy birthday, Brian. And we're sitting here eating Indian. <laughs> yeah. That was me. Got to get my bottle for myself. Yeah. I spent in my lo- at my lonesome. Oh, well. You just didn't want to have Indian with us. That's true. He did. did. Oh, well, it, uh, yeah, we won't get into that. <laughs> we won't get into that. That was a rough time. So we're, we're good. Anyway, Ben, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said there was going to be beer here. Oh, there's, there's beer. We got plenty no, of beer. There's, there's cores in the. Yeah, beer. man. Uh, Keep I'll talking. Let me go grab some beers. I won't. Well, I won't. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to make a trip say. to the store, and I totally forgot, and all of a sudden you were getting started. I was going to say, Ben, I, if you, I, I, thought know, I know you don't like me. doing fiberglass, but my old lady wants a stereo in her car, but it has to be fiberglass. I was going to send Jimmy, but he already took off for the 2015 day. Acadia. Yeah, this is little. Uh, she wants, like, fiberglass <coughs> door panels and shit. Ben, uh, you want a Coors? Yeah. Uh, Dang, Donnie, what are you doing, <laughs> man? <laughs> That's alcohol abuse, man. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Coors Light, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> let's switch over, Kyle, for a minute, and then we're going to talk about again uh, later on why you, both of you are here. Yeah, let's do. Oh that. my God! <laughs> uh, you Hold on, already. Hold on, I just ripped my pants. <laughs> 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 Hold on, let me get this camera. Hold on, you have to see this. He totally ripped the. Hell I out just of ripped my pants. Hold on, what? Sure the mic's caught that. For those of you that think this is still scripted, I mean, come on, look at this. <laughs> Just look at this. Know, why is this such a regular occurrence with you? Damn it. Fat, okay. fat guy problems. <laughs> Dude, I know those are Dickies. Dickies don't tear easy. Oh, these are probably Walmart Dickies, though. They're a little different. Those there's, are the stickies. A, the stickies? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Well, if they weren't sticky when Brian bought them, they are now. They're <laughs> st- sticky as soon as I get them. <laughs> yeah, just rip my pants. All right, cool. I hope the mics picked that up, too. I'm about to listen for that later. Because it was loud enough over here. I heard it over I, my I mics. could actually hear it. <laughs> Went. I thought. Come on. See if I can make it bigger. I thought you ripped the fart. Oh, I heard it that time. Oh, my God, dude. Why are you doing this to yourself? I mean, there are already. There's already a hole there. Are you going there. to Paso after this? Oh, go somewhere. <laughs> go home. <laughs> I, got a, I got a stapler you can, like, you know. <laughs> I live right next door. I'll just go grab some Ventilation. pants real quick. Can I get that red lighter? <laughs> See, and you know what, Jake? Just yeah, like man. you know how just you said how you have a, a, a pair of uh, clothes in your office. Hey, you were talking I about do. that earlier. Yeah, this would be the perfect moment for me to have a pair of. Clothes it would. You know, if you want to keep a pair of spare set of pants in there, you can. I mean, I have a whole office. I could put pants. <laughs> I could put all sorts of clothes in there. <laughs> I right, want to give a little bit of love to Basehead Tees. So Baseheadtees dot com. Got to give them a little bit of love. So. The same folks that did this sign, same folks that do the Sunday After Dark t-shirts. Give them a little, little love. Go to BaseheadTees.com. Make sure you use promo code After Dark at checkout. And uh, show some love to the uh, the great folks there at BaseheadTees.com. Check it out. I ripped my pants. We're, we're doing yep, good. And Kyle's going to tell us about what's going on. So, Kyle, um, you became quite a YouTube star here in the last couple of years. Well, it's, it's taken more than a couple of years to get to that point. Yeah. I've noticed you've had your channel up for damn near 12 years. Yeah. <laughs> so let's start again from the beginning, just like we did, Ben. How'd you get started? What made you do the things that you're doing today? 
Let, let's give us give us the the whole spiel from the beginning. The Reader's Digest. Yep, version. you want to bring that mic close <laughs> to you. Okay. So I've always grown up around cars. My dad had a used car dealership when I was growing up, and uh, I would always go there and uh, you know, clean cars for a job. That was what I would do coming after school and stuff. And I started watching YouTube and stuff, you know, in the late 2000s and whatnot, and I was watching channels making videos about cars. There's just all sorts of stuff. And I was like, oh, that looks like fun. Dad has a bunch of stuff on the lot, and I should make videos of that stuff. So yeah. I started doing these little walk-arounds and stuff, and then I would put a tripod in the middle of the seats and go for a drive, and, you know, it wasn't anything special. It was just these mm. tours, just showing people all You were young. How old were you when you started this? Uh, seven. <laughs> <laughs> 18 okay yeah yeah 18 18 19 um yeah that would make sense um but yeah i would go to the auctions with them you see some see some cool car be like oh guys check this out this is different this is unique i mean it was it was random stuff too it was like 80s chevrolets and 90s cadillacs <laughs> just right you know all, all sorts of stuff but i got this little little following for it and i just kind of ran with it when i got into pharmacy and, and, and you started in like 2008, I believe. Yeah. When yeah. YouTube, it, YouTube started 2007, I think. I think so it was earlier than that. Maybe like it was earlier five. than that. Was we, it? We were in high school because James Hogan had a youth like mother like oh, when it just started. Oh, five, yeah, well, it, oh no, I'm thinking of Facebook or something. Never mind. Anyway, but to, face or YouTube was not huge at the time, and you no. you like jumped on it right at the right time. Yeah, it seems like yeah. I, I was one of the. I guess you could say I was one of the earlier people doing the whole youtube car review thing right. like they weren't really right. reviews but i was profiling vehicles um so i just you know it just kind of snowballed to the point where you know i started asking dealerships when i get when i was in pharmacy school like hey can i come film your vehicles and you know i wouldn't charge for anything but i'll mm. give them a shout out in the video or something they get yeah. a little bit of advertising and just cool. doing that consistently and doing videos and all sorts of stuff from you know the old Chevrolets to get opportunities to film Lamborghinis and stuff. I right. just there got go. the following for the variety. Yeah, there's a there's a big um, exotic car dealership up in the Greensboro and Salem area. You can see it right off of Forty. Yeah, foreign cars. Yeah, so I, I assume you probably went there. Maybe I filmed a LaFerrari there one yeah, time. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that was exciting. Oh nice. yeah. <laughs> so that started back then, and then I know you've kind of progressed the channel into other things. Yeah, um, doing other things over the years. Obviously, as YouTube has grown, there's been so many people that wanted to get involved with YouTube in some way, shape, or form. Whether it be to try to start a career out of it, or just to do something fun. And you know, everybody loves cars. You know, that's yeah. You know, yeah. Why Thomas doesn't like cars. I know nothing uh -oh. about them. I meant to learn about them, and then I forgot. <laughs> that is so good. Do you like them more? Than you have the one guy who doesn't give a fuck about cars right next to you. You should do. You should, <laughs> you should do a total like review walk around of Thomas's Rav Four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I probably got man. one of those already. <laughs> Rav two, yeah. the cup holders. It's just reviews like the cup holders in this car. <laughs> oh my god, please yes. <laughs> they're they're useless. <laughs> they're like are awesome. They, so like, why should are they as you useless as an S10, first gen S10? Because hmm. they are like this much. You know what those were? Turn pretty, a corner. Blah. Those were pretty bad. Those were pretty bad. <laughs> Espresso holders. Those were made into a glove box. Yeah, yeah, the lid of the glove that box. Was, that, those, those are trays. <laughs> yeah, that's, just, that's, a, that's a parked uh, parked Actually, cup holder. Actually, Jake's seen them though because they're there's like super wide. Oh, yeah, and, and they're, they're shallow, very, and they're shallow. But they got this little like flap that's supposed to. The only thing the that they could possibly a little styrofoam it thing never works. The only thing uh, they could actually hold is maybe if a two liter bottle was this tall. <laughs> it's like the bottom part of it yeah. that could maybe hold that. I have, <laughs> I have had, yeah. I have had two drinks uh, when I'm when I'm leaving. They spill out on my leg when I turn. Uh, it's been there. I, it, yeah. it pisses me <laughs> off to no end. As people that watch this show may know. <laughs> um, so yeah, I noticed one of your first videos you ever posted because I went back. Oh, yeah, no. I, I had to see what was going on. <laughs> oh, Lord. And it was like uh, it was actually car audio based. Yeah, I didn't watch them. Oh, I base, just wanted to see what you're... The base test videos. Yeah. <laughs> Ru Roof flex. Yeah. Based. Yeah. Based. Don't go watch this Some videos. kickers and some pioneers. <laughs> Jesus, Donnie. <laughs> Sorry. I <laughs> you're a based guy. You use two hands, I guess. <laughs> For you. Oh, ben stole man. my beer. Yeah. That'll teach <laughs> you not to open it. You'll have to do like a throwback highlights video. 
Dude, oh god, uh, yeah. I noticed there was one video where he had this old truck that had like kudzu growing up out of it, and I don't think you ever finished the project. But do you do a lot of that where you like find these dilapidated vehicles and I would restore like to them? do some more of that. Great over word, Donnie. Right. Thanks, Ben. I appreciate <laughs> it. I actually, you know, it's funny. I get requests all the time from videos like 10, 10 years or so ago when I used to do, I called I call them Junker series. Mm. Didn't have to run. They'd just be sitting in the grass, you know, growing stuff around it. People are like, oh, yeah. can you do more videos of those? I'm like, I'd, I'd like to. Just, nice. You know. That truck was I mean, rough, man. I thought it was a rock at first glance. I was like, oh, it's a big I mean, rock. At, at the end of the day, view, views are views. If people right. will watch yeah. it, I'll, I'll, so, I'll film it. In North yeah. Carolina, you'll see that a lot. There's um, down by where my dad lives. Uh, my dad actually restores cars for a living. Oh, but cool. down like a couple miles from him on the same road, there is uh, an old a guy who used to repo cars. Okay. And back in like the 60s and 70s. Oh. And all them cars are still back there with trees growing out of them and Dang. shit. <laughs> so that is a place you have. It's a place like that is what you got to check That's out. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And he actually... He actually goes back there to get parts for some of the cars that he's restoring. You should yep. do like yep. treasure hunt yep. videos where you go to these different places and find these that would be this cool. crazy stuff. Yeah. I've talked to yeah. some junkyards actually about doing that. I just timing. Right. Yeah, it's right. been a little hard the last couple of years. We've been <laughs> in the middle of building the house this. and moving. And it's, right. It's, right. Yeah, and we're going to get to that here in a minute. Definitely. Oh, I did watch that video. Yeah. yeah. It's a pretty sick house. I yeah. appreciate so it. So you're in now. Like, you're fully we in the house We just moved now. the bed today, so we'll be in tonight. Oh, that's cool. Oh, well, fuck it. We'll talk about yeah. it right now. So you got a new house. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's just dive right into it. Yeah. 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 Well, you posted a video on your, on your YouTube yeah. that you, you, uh, you and your wife uh, built a house. Yeah. On some property, I guess you got it from your in-laws, or <laughs> yeah, we we started this project a few years ago. We were living in Clemens, and uh, we we loved our house in Clemens, but it was around the time where I was getting more into wanting to do project content instead of quite so many reviews. I yeah. needed to build a garage, and of course, in a town like that, you got all these restrictions. You need to have space, so uh, it's more of like a like a town, like a city of kinda, some sort. Yeah. Kinda. That's right, because Clemens is right next to Greensboro, right? Winston. Winston. Yeah. Really bad. Winston. Hey, really bad. I don't know that area very well. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just know the, right here. Not even close. The in-laws had the property. They were using it for hay, so we they offered it to us um, You know, if we wanted to come out of the country to buy area. it. So we bought it from them. They still get the hay off of it for their cattle. And uh, we've been living at her, uh, my wife's dad's house for the last two and a half years while we've been working on the house. Mm. Nice. And now it's finally finished. Yes. Cool. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> uh, and I, like I was telling you earlier, um, you know, I was watching your, your walk around the inside of the house. It's like, this is kind of like how I would like to have my house. What? It's, it's modest, but it's like, it's Did not you, too big, but so it's, it's like, it's perfect. You know, it's, it's, it's way interesting. Have it I, I, I've only, ma- I only made two videos on the house. I had a lot of. I had a lot of people from social media asking me to make videos on the house. I, I kind of felt a little weird about it at it's, first. It's not really your thing. It's not my thing, yeah. and it felt a little too show and tell, like a little mm-hmm. too personal. Yeah, be careful. One thing I noticed is you and your wife are going to share a office. Is that right? No, I'm giving oh. her the office. Oh, I saw I've that. I've always had a home office. I, I don't want a home office. So, anymore. so my wife and I we used to share a, an office, yeah. and and that that won't work. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now. She'll we'll, be over there doing we, something. I'm over here doing a voiceover. We, <laughs> we we were watching the video together, and um, she, she, we both just looked at each other. They're like, they're not gonna like that. It could be anybody. We don't even know you. But, uh, <laughs> it will no, not work. No, I've got my I've got my shop. I got my own. It's got to build onto, onto your because you're building a garage or a big garage, right? So I've you already got a, on I've already got a shop that I've been working out of. But the for the longest time, both of the outside portions, it's it's three bays. Mm-hmm. Both bays were filled with house stuff. Mm. And then I cleared out one bay to start doing, you know, putting my stuff into, but I still can't use it because it's so full of equipment. The other side is still house stuff. Right. So I'm actually building a new shop next to the existing shop so I can accommodate more projects. There you go. <laughs> oh, man. Park your cars. Yeah. Gotta hang. I mean, the thing is, with, with, with YouTube and what I want to do, I, I've always wanted to be able to bounce between projects. So especially right. now, if I run into a back order or something, I should theoretically be able to just switch to another vehicle and do something. It doesn't right. matter what it is. Just Keep some content out to there. To be yeah. able to have a space for each vehicle that I'm working on. Just it just make it easier. Nice. Well, congratulations on the house. Yeah, I like yeah. your pond too, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna come over there and fish once you stock it. Heck yeah! Fuck yeah! I'm gonna try <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring the beer. Yeah, sounds like a plan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go back to where we were. 
the beginning is beginnings of time. So that you started off kind of just like videotaping a little bit of everything. I noticed, yeah. and then you then you got real hard on the uh, um, uh, vehicle. Is this bothering uh, you, Ben? Smell <laughs> set me on fire, Donnie. <laughs> no one set you. Oh, oh, our <laughs> first ever show. Donnie set himself on fire. Cool. So <laughs> with that, with that light, <laughs> I that. I've seen that. And then later, he set a microphone on fire. Yeah, uh, yeah, he did. I think it was this one. No, I, I changed them all out. I got oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, Donnie. Uh, good, vehicle reviews. You did that for a while. Yeah. And then when did you start doing the here, the Donnie. whole thing about working on vehicles? <laughs> so <laughs> I've always enjoyed driving older vehicles. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's just my thing. Can't but fix stupid. A few <laughs> a few years ago, I bought a 1989 <laughs> Nissan 240SX, and I had no idea what kind of scene that car had oh right? yeah you drip the drip no, yeah no idea it big was, tuner and drift scene it was for sale in clemens at some guy's house i went and asked about it i was like i remember that car from need for speed this would be fun and you're lucky you even got like, it this would be different who's done this everybody <laughs> <laughs> was it hot pursuit too that one was yeah <laughs> <laughs> underground probably underground oh, yeah, yeah. Underground. Okay, it's yeah. Be underground. you do all the customization yeah and stuff. That so that was what started me down the rabbit hole I still have that car I actually just recently two million got dollars it. Later. at least you yeah, can two million dollars <laughs> <laughs> lots of money at least lots. the cool I don't thing know is how much money is in that car because <laughs> a lot of people have done a vehicle there's a lot of things to look into yeah. a lot of, like if you have a problem with something you can look into it somebody's already had that problem I, right. I, I guarantee it the electronics is what's been uh, what, I've, what I've always struggled with. Like right. last couple of years, I've I've gotten some extra projects that have been a bit more simple, like that I can learn on because I none of my family had mechanical background. I didn't have friends that worked on cars in school, so like everything that I've gotten to at this point, I've been learning over the last few years with the help of my YouTube friends, with friends I've met in Moxville, like. Uh, so it's 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 been real nice. I've gotten a lot more confident with it. I mean, I, I got the 240 running, the the RB25. I swapped into it running last December, and then I didn't touch it for six months until you know I got far enough with the S10 that I'm building right now that I got confident enough. Like, hey, I, I can do this. It's just you know nuts and bolts, you know. And so the yeah. electronics. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, so now that car is running, tuned, driving. That's a it just needs a front end. Cool. So. That's nice. You, you just it. put wheels Somebody on needs the to try S10? this. What? I, you I, just put wheels on the S10? Try that. Yeah, well, a few months ago. <clears throat> so, Donnie, this is really good shit, by the can, way. Can we talk about the S10? What all? What all's going on with it? Uh, it's a full frame off resto mod. Um, oh wow! The outside. What, what year? Eighty nine. It's a three fifty SWAT cam. Um, Lowered suspension, all Beltec suspension. It's got a GM eight and a half inch rear end that's been narrowed down to, um, you know, S10 two wheel G drive width. GM rims. Yeah, uh, Monte Carlo SS wheels. That's, that's right. Is that the one yeah. you just I did uh, watch that video? Is that the one you took the carburetor <laughs> off of and put the new injection? Yeah, yeah we just watched that in here. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. thought uh, I was going to put the video the up sniper, of, the, of the sniper install so, yesterday, yeah. and then I was going to do it today, and I keep forgetting. So right. I guess it'll be tomorrow. We saw the, we saw the intro <laughs> of you talking about sneak, sneak yeah. peek here yeah. at Sundown After Dark. <laughs> at this point, it's just cosmetics and interior. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, I'm real proud of that truck. It's turned out nice. <laughs> Heck yeah! Oh my really yeah. updated website. Good yeah, Lord. if you if you want to see <laughs> if you want to see the project cars that he's been working on. Oh, I saw on, the Jimmy too. Yeah, yeah, we're with gonna talk the about new that. interior and everything. We're gonna talk about that here in a minute. Yeah, um, this website's like a year and a half old, so. Sorry. Oh, you better get on, buddy. <laughs> Are you doing your own website or? I mean, technically, I just don't have time to figure it out. I understand, <laughs> right? <laughs> we hear you on that. <laughs> I barely yeah. have enough time to keep up with the channel and social media. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, check out the you know if you want to see what he's working. on. Well, if you want to see what Talk he's working on a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Check, check out. Uh, it's called Sob Kyle. I don't o even have the crew cab anymore. That's gone. Yeah, SobKyle04.com. <laughs> so you see all his project videos. And they just take you to the YouTube and then his social medias, basically. Yep. It's kind of a conglomerate of hey, all, your, all the stuff you got going on there. Good Lord, that was just that was quick, huh? Yeah. Can we play that? Yeah, we could play that. Yeah, play it. Here, here's, uh, well, so can I make it bigger? It won't let me make it bigger. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. He's in Jesse's car. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't ready for that one, huh? No. no. It blew the sob out of Kyle. 
<laughs> no, seriously, the first time I've ever got a chance of, of experiencing, like, like this kind of system was at Ben's place. Yeah. Um, I found Ben through social media, and one of my friends had you know, directed me to his Instagram page because I was thinking about doing something with the Jimmy, and he was like, oh, man, you should check out this guy. He's got a page, Extraordinary Audio, and, he, you know, he does these crazy builds and boxes and stuff. So that's how, you know, um, I ran into Ben and, and you know, seeing the, the Murderado had, you, you, and all that stuff is just nuts. You had a manager I at did. one point. So the manager... Emailed I've never me. Had a manager. Yeah. Well, that's what happened. So I guess we can get into this a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. So this is about a year and a half, two years ago ish, somewhere around there. Yeah. Uh, this guy emails me. I don't remember his name. What was his name? Chris. Chris. All right. So he's like, "Hey, I'm a manager for this YouTube guy." But I'm like, "This is bullshit." Because we get <laughs> we get a lo- we get a lot of bullshit emails. I'm sure. <laughs> Actually, a, a um a manager of a band. I'm not gonna say the name of the band email or called one time boy he bullshitted me so good i thought it was real uh find out he wasn't it wasn't real because i I backtraced the phone number oh but and i found out it was a big scam but yeah that was real fun anyway was it nickelback no it wasn't nickelback (laughs) it was like a newer rock band you know it's all over radio kind of thing oh this is cool yeah yeah. get our stuff in a music video sure (laughs) yeah yeah it was supposed to be that's what it was he wanted to do it with a music video yeah i'm still gonna like Anyway, <laughs> so that yeah, God, your yeah, manager yeah. Chris yeah. Uh, uh, emailed. It wasn't a call. He emailed <laughs> here, um, and the funny thing is, I don't always check that particular email. It was okay. a contacts yeah. folder. This was, I, I think it was actually before okay. Donnie was working here because Donnie handles our contacts folder yeah. now. Okay, and he'll he'll funnel stuff over to me. Yeah. So I was I would yeah. check it every once in a while because I, I, I generally don't like always have too. time to to check it. My wife will kill me if I don't do this. Yeah, save the turtles. You need yeah, to get you a knife. <laughs> hey, we saved a turtle at the shop. Jake saved one. We did. We did, yeah. Yeah. No, Jake saved a turtle. We go off you rails a lot, turtle. by the way. <laughs> I'm kill yeah, we, we like, I'm sorry, we like turtles. Bad on it. I don't, I'm not used to those little turtle killer things or whatever they what? are. The, the plastic the oh. green the thing. Yeah, save thing. the whales, too. <laughs> the turtle. By the way, this rum is actually I really good. On. It's not super, I'm it doesn't, doesn't hit you in the throat real good. It's real smooth and sweet. Going to have to try a snort of that. No, All right, one. yeah, this one's this is round. I, I will also have a, a snort. Yeah, that uh, is very similar to that stuff I got you for your birthday, actually. A uh, Bruegel or something like that. Yep. I think is what and I got to tell you, you can't post anything without haters. Oh, totally. I posted yeah, the no. thing about our new glue that's right here. Oh, it's not near as good as other people. Do you want me to start using yeah. that? Yeah. What, what is it? It's just <laughs> it's just rebadged. <laughs> but I got oh, no. something else and relabeled hey, it. No, like, here we go, Jake. Put that put that glue down so people can see it on that camera. There you go. This guy goes, just send one out with every sub you sell. Sundown, guarantee you will need a recon. <laughs> That's awesome. kind of funny, though. Yeah. I'm not sure if he's joking or if I should just ban him from the page. <laughs> we'll just, just, just roll with it. Say it's all a conspiracy so we can make more money off the recons later. There you go. Oh, we've not been selling the shit out of some recons lately. Well, I, You're I, not I, helping it, Brian. Jake, I've got yeah. all that, <laughs> I've got all that really other good, epoxy. Yeah, you it's tasty. Yeah. Start? You, use, you only use this stuff to glue the spider down and the surround down. Spider too. So you want me to yes. use the the other epoxy for everything else? Yeah. You want him to use that on the spider? Okay. Mm. Yes. All right then. Cool. It cool. works. All right. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna stop using CA. All right. Let's get back into Kyle. Good. I'm over it. <laughs> That's nasty. I don't remember what we were talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, your manager. Manager. So yeah, he emailed. Email. <laughs> he, he explained <laughs> what who he Kyle. was and what he was doing, and that you were interested in, I guess, using a. North Carolina or a local company to, for, to, to use your product, to yes. use their products. Yes. Um, really? Uh, nice. Great. We're in North Carolina. We can help supply. So it's like, well, we don't sell, we don't generally sell to the public. But and we would like, since, since you are a YouTuber, we don't know your experience uh, yeah, with car audio. So we wanted to have you use a dealer of ours who can in- help you install the product yep. and do everything properly. And that's how the two of you got on board. Yeah. I basically said, hey, we got a guy out in that area, Ben from Extraordinary Audio, check him out, and let me know what you need. And we did cut you a good deal, you know, to help help yeah, out, yeah. you know, I appreciate the that. whole thing. And cool. made sure Ben did the install work. And yeah, hell yeah. It ended up being a three-part series. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that was in what vehicle? Uh, the 93 Jimmy. Bring GMC that mic a little Jimmy. closer to you there. Oh, sorry. Uh, 93 Jimmy. You know what you can If you want to sit back, you can just grab this thing and bring it to you. If you want to sit oh, back a little bit. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, very sensitive. I figure how to adjust chair. 
<laughs> I'm gonna get a I phone book. I'm gonna get a phone mine. book over here sitting next to Ben. That'll but mine's work. pissing we'll me on off. Phone book. <laughs> I lowered the chair it's to just be like on y'all. Right. I know. I it's fine. Still, He's slouching a little bit. You're now. too high. <laughs> you're, there you go. You were still oh, too high. Gosh. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Now you look my size. There we go. <laughs> so anyway, then we. So you guys got to get. I don't. I don't know that part. Well, the things. '93 Jimmy was actually. So the 240 was my first serious project on mm-hmm. the channel. But the '93 Jimmy was the one that I really sank my teeth into because it was. For my lack of mechanical knowledge, it was a lot easier for me to understand that versus the 240 and the RB25 and all that stuff. So that was, you know, what I really focused on. And then as I went through the series, I wanted to kind of do something different to the interior because it wasn't like a full on you know, restoration or anything, but I wanted to spice it up a little bit. And Ben does a lot of like OEM like installations, mm-hmm. like when it's all done carpet and everything i mean it It looks like it's supposed to be there exactly so i didn't want to do something that was just you know pieced together from all sorts of places and you know just take it to the source right and um you know when i first talked to ben you got everybody and their mama watching your channels you got to be careful how you do things right do it right right and you know i wanted to show people in the videos that you know there are people out there that can do the cut type of work. Like, you know, I'll just have to slap something together. I mean, everybody has their own way of doing things and stuff, but I really wanted to highlight, you know, a very nice install. Like, installing a double DIN head unit in a yeah. first gen S10 is not the easiest thing to do. Right. And no. more times than not, it looks hacked up because, you know, just the way oh, the bezel is. Is that the version where you have, like, the. It's, it's in the. Um, what is going on over here? I don't know. I was laughing because I, 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 all over here. I was <laughs> laughing because you were talking about everybody and their mama watching the and channel. You got to do things right. I was just about to say we don't know anything about that. <laughs> I was no. literally ben about. I'm like. At me I'm like literally. Literally, our moms about watch time. this show, <laughs> and we just act like a bunch of assholes right in front of them. Yeah, well, we're older. It's okay. <laughs> we're the no, worst no, people. No, yeah. <laughs> I, know, I, I was. Uh, your mother-in-law we, likes to watch this do, show. Do we have some photos of the? Install? Sorry, Denise. <laughs> what? Do we have some photos of that we can look at. <laughs> what? Of your install? Of people's moms? Uh, yeah. It should be. It should be on the Instagram. Yeah. yeah. No, his install. I, 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 oh, I oh. you t- <laughs> Right here, this one. Oh my god! Okay, we, let's go. let's get back to the story. I don't even remember what we were talking about anymore. We're talking, we're talking about, about Ben and videos. Yeah. And talking about the so, <laughs> I just don't know. We'll, we'll get to life. we'll get to the pictures in a minute. Good one. Mm. Who was that? So, so who contacted you? Too far here. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Said. So who contacted Cheers. you, uh, Ben? I think what? I think Chris contacted you first. Yes. Yeah. Chris contacted me. And then okay. I. You're probably like, about. oh, this is bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did. Yeah. Actually, no, no. I think I told I mentioned I messaged you about it though first. Ben probably still thought it was bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Brian said this yeah, is okay. Brian said it's it's good. definitely good. not good. okay. Uh-uh, no. We said a guy's going to contact you about yeah. uh, doing a build for a YouTube Bri- guy. Brian's got like, his pants off again, drinking the crack, drinking <laughs> the cracking. Yeah. So glad I got Donnie now. Yep. <laughs> He's so much more professional. Thank no, God. I'm not. <laughs> At least he'll do. He'll do what you ask. Yeah, he does. <laughs> So anyway, so yeah, Chris messaged you, and then so, you know, how'd you feel about that? Would you, would you, would what? Were I mean, your I thoughts? was excited about it. I mean, I appreciated uh, y'all sending that out to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we try our best for you, up buddy. With Kyle, that was uh, interesting. Because I wanted yeah. to shoot like a multi-part series, so we did one on the head unit, we did one on the door speakers, and then we did one on the, the amplification sub and stuff, of subs. Yeah. Because there was so much work involved with each one, because with the S10's radio bezel stock, it's a one and a half den, and it's offset to the side, because you got a little cigarette lighter. And the yeah. trunk, or the and latch. The, yeah, okay. that too. Okay. And Ben so, had to do a lot of custom work to make yeah, that we, work. We, he deleted all that stuff, we moved the, the rear hatch, uh, the glass release to the glove box, made it look super factory, and then he did a custom bezel that set the radio right in the middle. Cool. Yeah, I've always hated that about that radio, that it was off-centered. Is but that one of the ones where the radio the, is, is in two pieces? No. No, no, uh, no that no, was no. the and silver and that was uh, That was the thing back then. Everything, was, the GM was dinner and a half back then. Yeah, they, yeah. they don't make those anymore. No, no, no. I mean, and there's I, no room behind it either. Yeah, when I when I tried to redo one of my so old trucks. Yeah, we, we had to go into the, the heater ducting a little bit and then close all that off. But yeah, I tried to redo one of my older trucks that was a den and a half, and you can't even buy a den and a half aftermarket anymore. Right? No. Just, hmm. Pioneer just is like the only one that made it for the longest time. 
Yeah, that was like yeah. 98. And they just kept it the same. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> that was a long you, time you, ago. You got to go, you go single den or you got to update to they something newer to turn the Apple den. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because right. the, the cool thing about the Jimmy is that, so the Jimmy had a four speaker system. You had two in the dash and two in the rear doors. Mm-hmm. And then we ended up putting 13 or 15 speakers. Oh. It, it was a lot. Cool. I don't know. I went to Carver. Yeah. I can't count that. Huh? <laughs> so, <laughs> well, we what he ended up doing, he, he made custom enclosures for the front doors because they never they never put speakers in those um, right. the factory. Yeah, and they the had the four is, by six on top of the dash. Right, mm-hmm. and they had a little storage pocket. But if you if you took the storage pocket out and made your own like bezel or whatever, you can't just set the speaker into the door because it'll hit all of the the window. Yeah. Stuff. So you got to bring it out. Son. Yeah. So you got to bring it out. So he ended up making this like custom surround sound deal. It was just is that wicked. in the pictures? Yeah. You can see yeah, that. You can see it right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Left. Okay, right. there we go. That's like the edge of it. That sucker thumped. I mean, I'm not. We don't you have know. pictures of the front doors or the. Uh, this is on his Instagram side. So Damn it, Kyle. I, How did I, you not put all the pictures of it on there? <laughs> <laughs> and there are on there. You get to click on them. There's like multiple pictures in each post. Oh, so if yeah. I click this, it'll click be multiple, should, multiple. It should. It should be. Let's do it. Some of them do. Let's some of them don't. There we go. It's a little bit better. Oh, that oh, the no, that's your nice See, like, two million dollar motor in your new. <laughs> 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 that that looks pretty factory. I like that. Yeah, it does look factory. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> lumberjack, Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's about time to break out the plaid again. I'm excited. Hal <laughs> <laughs> agrees. <laughs> plaid season. <laughs> <laughs> plaid season. <laughs> Are you excited about the pumpkin <laughs> spice? <laughs> I've already had I, one. I'm, I'm getting. I'm getting my my. Donnie, you gotta say. I don't think so, Tim. <laughs> I don't think so, Tim. <laughs> Crystal oh, Lake. there we go. There's some multiple pictures. Okay. Yeah, so he made, the, uh, hey, he made those way, covers for it, I don't too. know how Instagram works. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> Damn kids in their Instagram. Back behind that panel was one of the batteries, and then on the yeah. other side, it was the amps. Yeah, we okay. did the batteries and the crossovers on the yeah, right, right side and both amplifiers. Yeah, so it's all there. hidden. Like, every, like the rest yeah. of the awesome. system. The only thing you see yeah. is the subwoofer in and all this shit right exactly. here. Exactly. And the seat folded down just like factory. You could pull the, you pull the panels out if you wanted to. So it was, a, it was a four-piece panel set that he made in there that all fit together. And it was a X10 ver, uh, X10 V2 dual V2 two on a uh, SAE 2000. There you go. The highs ran on a uh, 200.4. But we don't have the door panels that we were just talking about. Yeah, go, Kyle go, sucks go at back. his Instagram. Go apparently. back, go back. Well, Keep there's <laughs> uh, up or down, I guess down. Down, down. Let's down, see, down, 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 down. It's there somewhere. S10. Good hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Yeah, there, there's <laughs> your batteries and your crossovers. Down what there happened here? Right? What happened there? Uh, that was just a <laughs> That's what happens visit. to Blazers. Another rock. That's a parts, <laughs> parts run. <laughs> and so I should I click this one maybe? Uh, yeah, that's what's behind the panels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there we go. You can see what's behind those panels. Yep. Look, looks like you can go over. Yeah, there, yeah, we go. there we go. Check it out. So, yeah, that you fit a lot. That does. <laughs> Built yeah, there was a little like bit of modification. Yeah. 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 Well, built by <laughs> Retain that stockish look. <laughs> is that like a stamp? Yeah, like a stamp. And there was six yeah. by it's ben, but a stamp. the other three on the back side. I want that stamp. I'm going to just put all over my shit built in my office. <laughs> <laughs> built by Ben. Built by Ben. That's a cool. I that's love a, my stamp. <laughs> Dude, when I had a the label maker, gift. I went crazy. I was labeling everything. I need what? to get one For whatever those. reason, Jake gave me a label maker, and I put a label maker label on the There it is. Right there. There we go. Front door without the speaker in it. There we go. That's sick. That yeah. turned out really good. That that does look like it would be from and the factory. factory. In the, in the yeah, 80s. that's awesome. Yeah. 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 Everything was real square, especially real back square then. Yeah, to keep yeah. That same thing. Same thing with the radio bezel. Cool. Yeah, the radio bezel is even further back. Oh yeah, that, that was. I got I got more compliments on the radio bezel than anything else because it was a really the radio that we yeah. used had a little chrome bezel. Around. There you go. Yeah, that's cool. That looks nice. Yeah, that came out really nice. Oh yeah, that radio. Yeah, I remember that. Good job, man. Oh, thanks, guys. Kudos. I like the battery bracket, too. <laughs> battery bracket looks cool. Yeah. Safety first. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at that guy. Yeah, I got a lot. Using his calculator. Work. Look at that calculator oh, going. His car's catching on. Got to do all that That's math and good. such. Maths. <laughs> Mathing it up. Look at that. Yeah, there you go. Forward. I can't believe it. Can't really see that once it's painted and <laughs> right. assembled. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here. Let's see if we got more pictures of this. There you go. Look at that thing. <clears throat> And but there's a sad, no, I want to say a sad story, but there's a story to the ending of this vehicle. Oh, yeah. no, what happened? I don't consider it a sad one bit. It's not sad. <laughs> How is it sad? It's not sad. Well, it's a sad story the fact that you don't own it anymore. Right. It's not so, around here. So 
I, I do I do miss that thing a lot. So, I was about to ask what happened to it. Yeah, so a couple weeks or so after I filmed the series finale, I got an email one weekend um, from a guy in California that said it was his dream vehicle. He's wow. Been, he's been looking for something of that era, something like that for the longest time, but could not find one that had been done up like that. I mean, I put a new engine in it. I mean, it was all... He didn't want to do fresh. all the restore work, basically. Right. It was a good driver quality restoration. Did that one have like a 350 in it, too? No. It was just uh, a... It was a 4.2 dress, dressed up 4.3. Okay. Headers, yeah. exhaust, that's it. But it was... Long I, story short, it was on a on a truck next week getting cool, shipped man. to California. Jeez. I miss the system, though. It was cool. Do you still <laughs> uh, do you still stay in contact with that guy? Is he... No, I did for a little while, and I asked for pictures and stuff, and he promised he'd send me pictures. He would tell me how excited he was about it and everything, but I never got any pictures. He's probably well. in the junkyard now. <laughs> <laughs> he probably read hey, the damn thing. <laughs> speaking of, uh, you never saw this car, but I had a 95 Buick Riviera quite yeah. a while ago. I loved that. That's thing. a boat. Yeah. I made a video on it. showed the VIN number on the – because I had the w- original window registration and stuff. I had a guy comment to me the other day on Instagram saying, hey, by the way, I was watching one of your older videos, and I was just like, hey, I'm going to check out that – look up that VIN, see what happened to it. Ended up in a junkyard in Lexington. Dang. Oh, man. Not so far from Wow. Home. No, I was like, ah. Oh. So, so the Jimmy is like the only non-Prius vehicle in California. Yeah. <laughs> no, funny thing. So it's been converted to it, hybrid now. It had a high flow catalytic converter on it. Uh-oh. And one of the last things that he had told me was, I'm kind of having a hard time getting it to pass. I'm like, I bet you are. <laughs> you got to know somebody oh, yeah. out there. Yeah. You got to put all the this vehicle causes cancer stickers on it. You know, I, I, I put the carb legal header, header sticker on the, right. uh, on the core support. So. <laughs> That's funny. So but he you, enjoyed it. If so. you have this Jimmy and you're not that guy, reach out to us. Yes. <laughs> you're right? probably not in California. <laughs> He's like, fuck it. <laughs> he he just stares at it in his garage. Yeah. You know, it's old enough. Yeah. He could probably get a, a like a classic. Uh, yeah. No, California. Not in California. California. No, 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 they don't they give they a crap in California, uh-huh. man. It could be 1970 and they'll still. I would say like, 1975 and they would still. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. Bastards. Yeah. <laughs> I like California. It's cool to visit. I, I do yeah. too. I I like California. I the, don't. It's the Prius is so prolific out there. It's like I don't think you can go two minutes driving without seeing one. Like, I drove I drove my wife's Prius yeah. uh, last weekend. That thing gives me an anxiety. Better than the Rav Four, though, right? <laughs> well, maybe if it wasn't it like just like like <laughs> baby shit green. Couple good, good, couple good cup It just cup holders. doesn't <laughs> do. <laughs> it, you can't like, do anything in it normal. It like, I barely know makes it up tr- a hill. Trying to change it's like just air like, filter or something, and it was like. A but does your drink move around in your lap? No. How, how are the couple? <laughs> because the car is not moving. <laughs> they designed it that way. It, it's no. Your it's, dignity rolls around in your lap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you drive that thing, <laughs> yeah, still so faster than a sunfire. <laughs> you gotta leave your balls yeah, at home. That's true. Here. Still faster than a sunfire. Yeah, it was. It was like an hour and forty minutes. It was like an hour and forty minute drive there, and then an hour and forty minutes back, and that thing just pissed me off the entire time. Like I was about to have an anxiety attack. Jeez. I fucking hate those cars. Why do you even? Why did she even get a Prius? She got from her grandma, right? Yeah. Oh, All right, yeah, grandma helped us out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Grandma, and, grandmas and, and are then, wonderful. Like, we don't want to go. We don't want to go car shopping. It's a fucking nightmare. Okay. Oh, it is. It's a whole Dude, day. Of grandma rain. was just like, "You want the Prius?" And we're just like, "It's right there." So yeah, to purchase a car at a facility, it's like a whole day event. No, I, I, a I, lot uh, of bullshit. Everybody it, it's cars. not like going to buy a pair of pants. It's an all day. I, I got everybody <laughs> beat on cars. <laughs> Brian needs pants. I do. <laughs> I made my hole even bigger. Yeah, I told you, you the what. story how I got the cruise. Right. Stop talking about your hole. Brian. I told you the story about how I got the cruise. No, no. So I had the Volvo and crapped out on me, and I was uh, I had a rental car for a while. And um, so I took the rental car back, and they wouldn't take me to the Chevrolet dealership because it was like a mile outside of their drop-off. And I'm like, it's a mile, man. You can't take me a mile if I give you like 20 bucks. He's like, no, I can't. I'll lose my job. I'm like, I hate you. So I got out of the car. <laughs> I got out of the car, and I wa- my wife was already there. She's like, where are you at? I was like, I got to walk because the guy wouldn't <laughs> drop me off. And by the time I got there, she had already picked out a car and had a deal going, and it was supposed to be it was supposed to be my replacement car for the Volvo. <laughs> and you and, didn't uh, even get it. No, no, it's it's, not even she's your car. driving it right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> and when the Pontiac craps out, I'm probably going to drive the cruise. And I hope it doesn't crap out. We do know that works. I know. <laughs> well, we were like, I was a mile from the dealership, and uh, she's going to have another car picked out, but it's okay. When in Rome. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was messed up. I was surprised by how much work she had done by the time I got there. She had to get there way earlier. Than, I mean, it takes me. A, it took me a while to walk the mile. You know, You're a big guy. It's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> for you, for I'm still you. upset that the guy wouldn't drive me one mile. I'm like seriously, dude. Seriously, she probably Come designed on. that. Donnie, for, you for and I know bucks. exactly what kind of uh, trickery that is. Yeah, are we talking about Jews or something? <laughs> 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 Brian, you just got canceled. Sorry, <laughs> canceled, Brian. Uh, <laughs> you shouldn't have said that. You need to. We have a. We, we have a. We have a, a beep thing like Please. a bacock. We have a bacock. Put a bacock there. Put a bacock there. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> but yeah, it was. You don't, <laughs> you don't have your headphones on, and my God, the clipping light over here. Is oh yeah, we were crazy. laughing at. We were laughing it up. <laughs> yeah. All right, quiet. Yeah. Well, this was Good a great times. last show, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> We're not political here, Clark. Clark? <laughs> 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 We're not sober either. <laughs> we just drink this whole bottle. Like, <laughs> in 10 minutes, it's going to be like full of pecocks. <laughs> Ah, shit. That is, <laughs> I don't even remember what we shit. said. I think I said something, or Thomas said something, where you had to find the bacock. I did. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't remember that video, but yeah, I had to, I had to, I had to do a lot of bacocking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Is that your technical job here at Sundown? Yeah. It is, it is. That's my job. Oh, my God. That's what Brian does. They call me yeah, the, right professional, the professional bacocker. I don't want the Pontiac <laughs> crap out, but I just... Yeah, you know, it's getting old. Yeah, it's yeah. Pontiac. Uh, you. I, huh, your Pontiac yeah, can't crap out until I, at least I'm finished editing that video, which I haven't done it's yet. It's never, been like, it's it's never like, going to happen. The day you finish <laughs> editing the video on the system, it's just <laughs> you know, how, like a car will make every sound it can possibly make and then stop. That's what my Volvo did. You yeah. try to you try to jump start it or something, and it'll make every sound it can possibly make and then just never speak again. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's like, bye. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's it's. Battle cry, you know. <laughs> I'll tell you when that that video is gonna be. <laughs> that video is gonna be done whenever Derek does portion two of the NSV fifteen right? video. Oh, uh, people are still waiting for that, Derek. They're gonna be waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I did a, a five minute segment or five minute a five video segment video on doing an install on Donnie's car, and the last video where I button everything up, I haven't finished editing it yet. It's been like two months, so. How do you do your editing on your videos? <laughs> what a great segue. <laughs> let's, get into, let's get into that. Do you do your own editing and shit like that? I do. I it's, do. it's a bitch, isn't it? It is. Yeah, you're sitting there for like five hours editing, editing like a 30-minute video. Like, fuck. Well, let's get this the over thing with. is, with the car reviews, I, I, for the longest time, I did things POV in the moment. There wasn't a lot of information and stuff, and then I switched to wanting to put more quality and information in, and then... It got so complicated, and I can only hold so much in the head that I was like, yeah. well, I just need to write my own script and voice it over afterwards. So I focused mm. on making good clips and then voicing it over later. Just yeah. a nice cup of coffee and kick I think back what he's saying relax. is if you're good at editing, it doesn't take that long. Yeah, well, I suck at it. <laughs> <laughs> Are we doing a commercial break? Uh, I'm going to actually put them in. Um, I'm going to make my own commercials in this run. I, I don't have – you know how like, I, would, I would press a button and a commercial would happen? Like, I don't have that set up yet on this system yet. DJ Rusticles. Yeah. Russified your face. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have, I don't have the, I haven't put the commercial in this, this thing. If you need to go pee, go ahead. We we can take a quick break. Actually, if anybody needs to go to the bathroom. need to wee. Oh, I need to wee hard, but I'm going to muscle through it, I think. All right. Let's, let's go ahead. I don't like Now let's get down and eat something spicy. Let's take a quick break. All right. Are you sick and tired of playing sloppy edits with squared off sine waves? What a moment of clarity. Then sit back and relax and experience what it's like to get rustified. rustified. When it comes to transforming new hits and old classics into the best street bangers. Ain't nobody got the sweet sounds of the 808s like Russ. With frequencies ranging from spleen busting high end to digging all the way down low into the subsonic abyss. Rusticles has what you need. Sundown After Dark has teamed up to give you an exclusive offer to save big on his iconic sound. 
sound. So pull out your mobiles and browse your way over to www.djrusticles.com and pick up your preloaded DJ Rusticles Fire Stick USB today. Go ahead and save 10%. Use promo code Use after, promo die. Code after, after die. die. That's www.djrusticles.com and use promo code after dark at checkout. The other guy was. <laughs> what the so they did it three times. Talking about bloodletting. Okay, now I'm that closed. That's he crazy. was too close to that Jake. guy. When that Jake. guy closed. <laughs> talking about bloodletting, Jake? Talking about Charleston. Yeah. Jake. When Norton's closed? I was checking. Norton's. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, really when they tired. closed, he was like. Yeah, among, among, and there was like four sleep. shops trying to get on, right. and I took him. I so like, we, are, we are back on. We're back. We're back. And do more, so. Boner. Hello. I was talking about how I got fat again. Dude, <laughs> don't even start with that shit. Yeah, I lost 30 pounds last I year. I can eat. Like, last night I had spaghetti. I feel like I gained 10 pounds on my face. You know, I wear a CPAP when I sleep, right? Because I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> I had these fucking lines just embedded in my oh, face. That's crazy. It looks like you were, like, flying a fighter jet when you come in. <laughs> 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 just flew my jet here to sundown. <laughs> <laughs> and you're still late sometimes. <laughs> That's my, Running my, Mach 3 on my, the way to work. My two-second ride the, to the work. Harrier, the Harrier didn't want to start up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's been in Harrier situations. Uh, I have. I like that. I like oh, that, Donnie. Bitch. What were we talking about, Donnie? What, was, what kind of bush were we talking about? Yep. Bush hog. What? 70s bush. <laughs> we, we have reached This the is the part of portion. the show where it goes <laughs> off the rails. I was like, I'm out. I'm not doing this. <laughs> Uh, this is bad publicity for you, man. You gonna, you gonna, no, 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 you gonna no, no, let your I'm just along for the ride. You gonna let your <laughs> wife watch this shit? <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna turn off after Brian rips his pants. She's like, really, <laughs> really. I, hopefully, my balls weren't showing. I don't think I, so. I should. I should probably go back and make sure. Uh, Chris, Chris cool. <laughs> cool. We're gonna have to bacock this whole second half. Yeah, so we were talking about cars. I was gonna do some stuff to mine. Oh. I put uh, put an intake on it. Which well, one? My Mercedes. Okay. So the intake of blow. I know you got like 13. Yeah, <laughs> I do actually. Uh, intake, blow up valve. I need to do a downpipe, and it's all from the same company. Yeah. And then they have an ECU that's already programmed for all that stuff. Oh, cool. And you can get like uh, like mid 400s horsepower. I have way. a four it, cylinder. It's a two liter four cylinder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, stock those are pretty sweet. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Like, you know, I'm not super, super car technical, but I know a lot more than I used to. 355 stock. Yeah, yeah. Out of a two liter. And it's tw- they run 26 stats. pounds of tur- uh, tur- turbo boost yeah. stock. And I found out that Mercedes is like the sundown of cars. They actually <laughs> underrate it. So it makes more power than what they say stock. That's Very never. Cool. That, that, yeah. Like, for instance, my FRS, they say is 200 horsepower, and it's like 160 maybe. <laughs> I thought you were just Maybe gonna, 87 to the tire. I thought you were going to literally say one for a second because you, you said one and you one paused. One horsepower. Yeah. I got the Vespa. I'm feeling pretty horsepower. good right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't drink liquor very often. So. Have you tried the stuff sitting on top of the fridge? Oh, it tastes no, like yeah. it's horrible, it's horrible. It tastes like don't perfume. Do it. No. Don't do it, Don't do it. Don't do it, Cal. Don't do it. Instigator. This is uh, oh, it's Amaretto. So that's no, there's Dissarono there too. Right. There's Dissarono in the other bottle. Oh, so I tried the Dissarono. I was like, oh, it tastes like an Amaretto. But this is Amaretto, right? Yeah, here. yeah. <laughs> This, what do you do with it's this liqueur. type of shit? You mix it with stuff. But, you like, mix like, it with, like, it with, with what? What do you mix brown liquors with? That's my Other question. Other brown liquor. Whatever yeah, you yeah. want to. Oh, no, I just give it to the yeah, bartender. Whatever, whatever so, <laughs> so when I said don't do it, Kyle, that reminded me of a funny story from a long time ago. <clears throat> the black beer. Uh, yeah, Kyle, Everly, and Hank Beach stayed at my house because it like snowed. Mm, mm-hmm. And Kyle, Everly, drank like most of a bottle of, uh, of Jägermeister. And my son, Joseph, was like two or three. <laughs> And the whole time, Joseph was like, Kyle, don't drink the black beer. It's, <laughs> it's poison. <laughs> you know. And then Kyle's like, no, JJ, it'll be fine. He's like, Kyle, don't drink the black beer. Because JJ was like freaking out. He's like, it's black beer, Dad. Kyle's drinking it. Because JJ thought Kyle and Hank were pretty cool. And he's like, oh, these guys are going to stay in my house. Oh, that's fun. You know, and then the next day, you know, Kyle was on the couch, just like passed out. And JJ was the first one up. He walked, went downstairs and he's like shaking Kyle, but he comes running, running back upstairs. He's like, Dad, Kyle's dead. I told him, <laughs> I told, I told Kyle, I told Kyle not to drink the black beer, Dad, but he drank it. <laughs> so Kyle, do not drink the black beer, and don't Appreciate drink that. Amaretto. He's been <laughs> drinking the black beer. Yeah. That so, shit was so funny. Is Joseph um, out of all my kids? talked the most at the youngest age and so he was like very well spoken at like two or three yeah. and so he was <laughs> having all these complete conversations <laughs> about how Kyle's dead and he t- 
I remember one time Nick was having a really bad day, and Joseph ran to the fridge, grabbed him a beer, and just ran up. He was like, here, Nick, have a beer. <laughs> Nick, you need a beer. He was like three years old. <laughs> you fucking trained your son beer. early. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, that's, that's a true awesome. story. My son, like, I have beer in my Get fridge that's been in there forever. <laughs> and I never, I don't drink at home normally, oh, but my, my kids, they'll see that I have beer in the fridge. And anytime I ask my son to get me a drink, he immediately thinks I want a beer. I haven't trained him to get me a beer, by the way. So I've got beer that's been in there for over a month. And he'll grab a beer anytime I ask him to get me a drink. Heck yeah. So. <laughs> what a good kid awesome. that Brett is. Yep, just looking out man. for you. He's a good boy. Hey, did we have uh, questions? Do people call in with questions? Oddly We're enough. Not live. Oddly no. enough. Not, not even Kendrell? No. Kendrell's He's had it with our shit. Supporter. That's it. The show's well, he, over. So, so here's the thing. I even boosted the post on Facebook. And I got a shit ton of views. So we were talking about that earlier. Yeah. Now, now Kyle, I didn't even see it. Yeah. Because I posted too. I paid for it, but whatever. <laughs> uh, so Kyle, um, he, most car audio people, car audio industry, car audio community sees the the sun and after dark stuff, right? right. So. And uh, your community is different, right? So to speak, we it's 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 it's, stuff it's, on it's similar yeah. enough, but it's it's different enough to where you have a totally different community that sees your stuff, right? I what I my what, what, blah. blah, what my thoughts are. Words. I put this post up. All the people that see Sun Out After Dark saw this saw the shit and be like, oh, I don't even know who that guy is. Right. That's probably what happened. You might have one point eight million million subscribers. But they're all a different community. We exactly. have one, we have one point yeah. eight subscribers. Yeah, but we're also fighting. <laughs> I, got, the, I got like thirteen thirteen thousand. We're I also think. fighting the algorithm of social media and YouTube. Derek, let's talk about that. Yeah, well, I'll, let's I'll tell, do. I'll tell you something <laughs> crazy um, on Facebook. And so not all, you know, obviously I, I like the Sundown Audio page, mm. and I did when uh, Facebook started doing the See It First stuff, mm. which they've changed multiple times now. The, the See It First is gone, and now it's like you got you, you just you make can't it a keep favorite. Up with the changes. But um, yeah. like Facebook big- actually unliked me from the Sundown page, and not only unliked me from it, but made it where I couldn't even search for it. Isn't that weird? You work here, Jake. Did you, did you block Derek <laughs> from the Sundown? No, page? I, wasn't, I wasn't. No, blocked. not this he, time. Here's what's wild. So like, <laughs> it was me. I you know usually I just type in Sundown, and the Sundown audio page is one of the first one that comes up, and I can just click on it to go there if I need to share something off the page. Well, it would not. I could not search for the page. Couldn't find it. I had to go to the unofficial page that I'm an admin on, go there, find a link to the Sundown page, click it, go to the Sundown page, and then be able to see stuff and share stuff from it. Good that's Lord. weird. So that's it, too much and work. that's how when I got there. And you and work I, here. And, and I'm unliked. <laughs> I don't even like it now. Well, I clicked like, you know, figure like, well, I don't know what happened. The very next day, I had to go do it again, and it had unliked me again from the Whoa, page. This weird. happened three days in a row. Facebook don't want you to like your work. I think <laughs> Facebook, Facebook is sabotaging me. Yep. Remember when I first made I, my page? I, re- I got like I do. fifty thousand likes in the first the first year doing nothing, and then uh, again I got a bunch again, and then all of a sudden it took me like a year to get like five thousand more. You know what it's about? Because I don't pay money. Shh, yeah, see, you. I don't. I yep. hard, I hardly ever pay money on Facebook because I, 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 honestly, I prefer to get the likes organically. That means they really wanted to be there, exactly. right? You know, so I don't I don't pay a lot. And I was talking to some marketing guys, and uh, they were like, "Man, how much uh, SEO and all that do you do?" I was like, "None <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at all." We, and, and then we, we found out um, we're like one of the top searches for car audio on, on TikTok. I don't even have TikTok. Wow, I've never what was it. it was I've like, never been on it. It was like fifty million. Yeah. Or so. yeah. My kids love TikTok, and my kids have actually they they've talked about Sundown and some of the, their friends from school and Sundown yeah. stuff, and they're like. It's it's just weird. My kids are like, hey, oh yeah, this kid I go to school with, and they like I still don't know. TikTok's TikTok like it's like Vine. Yeah. it's like Vine, right? Yeah, I, I think it's so. Yeah. It's the same yeah. thing as Vine. It just took over. Hey, Derek, uh, I'm no, telling you right it, now, it, it don't have to be really short videos. Like Vine, where you're yeah. limited to really, like, really short uh, videos. Well, TikTok's still pretty short. It's like 15 seconds, right? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was longer. Mm. Than Derek, if you um, want to make a little extra money, you get them high school. You you, you get your kids. Oh, I've my my kids don't want anything money. to do with it. But I've I've already tried to bribe my kids like. Start sharing my stuff on your social media. My stepdaughter, I'm like Dad, you're so dude, old. My, yeah. step, my stepdaughter, <laughs> when, she, when she was in high school, again. so dude, I, I mean, I constantly had kids come to my house. I was selling shit too. Yeah, here we, you we, go. We, and, and y'all, y'all know my girls. Um, my girls have a lot of boys that follow them on social media. I'm sure. Yeah, and I'm like, hey, I don't know. These this boys stuff, will like car audio stuff. I don't know. Share, I don't want to know. Share my stuff. <laughs> That's funny. Man. I feel like such a geezer. 
the kids aren't. You know, because right, like I don't even I'm not even good at Instagram, but Sundown has like seventy seven thousand people. Anymore. And uh, I've I've almost never hashtagged anything because I'm just like ah right. I'm an old man like waving my cane and Instagram. Hashtag that yeah. shit's tw- yeah. <laughs> that's Twitter apparently. I think for the longest time I didn't even know how hashtag really worked. I would hashtag like random things. I just why is everybody pound hashtag pound pineapple symbol. in the coconut? Yeah. Yeah. But like it would be like <laughs> random things. I'm like wait this isn't doing anything. Why is everybody pounding things? Kyle, Kyle <laughs> yeah, right. the other yeah, Kyle, <laughs> the other Kyle that works um, <laughs> with for Audio Apex, <laughs> he hashtags like 200 billion things every post. I'm like, how are you even doing that? Copy paste. Good Lord. <laughs> yeah. I, I actually made a copy paste for myself when I was trying to hashtag much, and it, I just got tired of it. I'm yeah, like, fuck all that. But, like, this is too much work. Just yeah. like in YouTube, you got to, like, put tags on. I was like, God damn, I feel like typing this shit out. <laughs> I want, you, YouTube, I do the same. I, I got a copy paste. I just do over and over and over. So if, if all my stuff always, like, all the descriptions look the same, it's because they are. I just copy paste it every that's, time. That's, that, that's what I try to do to a certain degree. But at the end of the day, the algorithm controls who sees what. Yes. Right. So yep. unless you can figure out how to play the game, you're, I you're figured just going to stay yet. where you're going to well, be. Gosh, I'm I, not, I'm I did not, figure out I'm the thing with gonna, Facebook in the pictures. I have no pictures. idea how to play the game. I just wing it. Well, apparently <laughs> you do. You do it right. Yeah. yeah, you know on uh, Facebook. Like I said, um, I, I wing it pretty good. I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you can't really share any links on Facebook. If you share a link, Facebook buries it. No unless, one will see it. Uh, yeah. Even it. if you share a YouTube link, you share yes. a YouTube video direct to your Facebook. They, they bury will, it. They will bury, bury it. No it. one will see it. Yep. But if you share a picture, a direct, you have to post a direct picture to Facebook yep. and yep. then kind of put a link and then put another link in the comments. Yep. That's the only bypass I, I found that, that, that works really, really well. Yeah. It's crazy. I've learned that from you. I found very much. If I actually do a Facebook like on Facebook video, that it goes crazy. Yeah, I and, it, and even if you, if you took something that somebody that else had put I on Facebook and you share it to your harsh. Facebook, Facebook will still kind of bury <laughs> it. They'll only it show it to about a quarter of the people they normally would. Right. It's yeah. better if you post direct, even if you take that same thing and kind of steal it, post that. direct, and then give credit to the original poster. Yeah. It'll it'll sh- it'll show it to more people. Facebook is destroying our brains. Can we I fucking hate other Facebook. Than social media. No, no, because I'm I'm I'm. You know who's really good at that social media? No, anything. JP's guy. Jacob. JP's guy. Jacob Scott knows so much about. Social media promotion. He's like yes. a freaking encyclopedia of that shit. And I, he'll, he'll start talking and he talks fast. He's like, this, 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 this. And I'm like, whoa, holy <laughs> shit, bro. Because that's that's his life. Yeah. He's really, yeah. really, really talented at that. Yeah. Hopefully he watches I, uh, it. If you, need, show. if you need a guy for some reason, I we think, know I think JP keeps him real busy. But yeah. I mean, he might, he might be able to. Well, he he's got his own player. so-called company where he does his. Yeah, yeah. I, I've kind of stopped doing social media because it scares the hell out of me. You're Actually, a pretty paranoid time, motherfucker, dude. I am. Oh, I don't like it. Well, it's 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 toxic. But the first time I was on social media since May was today. Yeah, so I posted you, about the SFBs on the uh, dealer page. You have to be able to, in your own mind, you got to be able to understand yeah, no problem, the, yeah. the difference between real life and social media. Social media is like the Kardashians right. of, of, of online. Like you just gotta think everything is big old fake booty is entertainment, and you have to be able to, to yeah. flip that switch. So, and turn Cobb, you off. get you get like a bunch of negative comments in your videos. So it seems like that's he's really, a pretty likable I mean, guy. It seems you like YouTube is, comes with the trade. Like YouTube is the, the worst. Inter- if you're on the internet, y- you're gonna get negative. We make like the most kick-ass car audio shit in the world, and we still get so much hate. Oh, yeah. all the time. Oh you yeah. Know? Well, I, I can. It, it doesn't matter what I do on a project video or whatever. There's you always didn't do it right. Be, yeah, I would have done it this way. I would have done it that you way. Should've well, you should have got the so and so, bro. Or you should you should totally repaint your truck and do all this kind of stuff. Well. You want to set it's, up a page ben. it's funny you say that though, because we were watching one of your videos with a mechanic here. Yeah, and uh, before you even started doing something, he goes, "We usually do it this way." And then you did it, and he's like, "Oh yeah, that's right." But that's the thing. <laughs> People post comments before they watch the video. Exactly. So yeah. Ninety percent of the time, I'll get a comment and be like. Bro, five minutes later, just, you just yeah. well, five minutes you, later. I, like, I get the complain about that all. I the time. get the you talk too much in your videos. That's everybody because I try to narrate everything I do because apparently I got a lot of truck drivers that love my videos mm-hmm. and they they listen to them like podcasts because they can't watch they them. So I narrate everything too. in detail right. and then all I get is you talk too much. You talk too much. Hey, what about <laughs> this? What about this detail? I'm like, well, it's all answered in the video if you just listen to it. Well, I've I've never <laughs> wanted to make how to videos because everybody has their own way to do things so you know there, there's always like a good formula to follow right. but everybody's yeah. got their own way of doing things so when i make my videos the project videos i kind of treat it more like following the journey but if somebody is doing something similar somebody's putting a v8 in an s10 which 
every Tom, Dick, and Harry is pretty much done nowadays. I want to try to give my experience of some of the issues that I've run into because there's so many different ways to do things. Right. And, you know, if somebody runs into that, it's just one extra perspective that they can kind of lean on. So Yeah. Ben, did you watch any of the videos of, of what he did or his videos of your stuff? And did you look at the comments at all? Uh, from our videos? Yeah. Yeah, there there was a few of them. That, you know. I haven't looked at the comments, but I'm like, <laughs> but I guarantee I you there's some of them. 99% of them was that <laughs> guy <laughs> is a legend. <laughs> I mean, there was tons of but There's that stuff. one asshole like, oh, yeah. I should have yeah. used yeah. you. Yeah, you should have done it this see, way. Yeah. The thing is, it doesn't matter. If you, you get a, I, I talk about this with my wife all the time. You can get a thousand just wonderful, wonderful comments, but there's just that one yep the one that yeah. just eats at you and gnaws at your soul and it's like f that guy i, I don't know <laughs> i don't know why but this made me think of uh because ben's so tall there's a if, if you ever watch uh what we do in the shadows there's a, a vampire on there who's an energy vampire and he he draws from like negative energy so he creates all these facebook things and gets all this negative energy and there's this one guy that's trolling him and he's like, well, come to this address. I'm going to kick your ass. So he goes there, and it's an actual troll. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, because it's been so tall. You just call me a fucking troll? Fucking <laughs> 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 douche. <laughs> that just made me think. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're tall. Fucking you're a tall idea. guy. <laughs> I, I, I don't think so. You're Tim these days. Like the you're troll. tall, therefore <laughs> troll. <laughs> I, I don't think so, Tim. <laughs> yeah, you think of it. Call me a goddamn ogre. Fuck off. Oh, oh. Ogres are totally right, different. Shrek. Oh, that's not the same thing. It just made me think of it because you're tall, and I like that show a lot. At, at one point in time, I used, makes I used perfect to troll, sense to me. I mean, yeah, I, I used to troll the negative comments in YouTube just to get them to interact more, hoping that it would trigger the algorithm. Yeah, right, right. There was interaction, and it would show it to more people. Well, Finally, I just work? I, I, I ran out of time. It doesn't work. I just uh, ran out of time. From experience, like, it doesn't work. There was too many negative comments for me to troll the people enough. I'm Good like, lord, dude! I got, I got shit to do. <laughs> no, what rules. you would, what you need to do is be like, man, thanks for the support. I appreciate it. Like, thanks so much. Like, dude, you suck. Thanks, man. Yeah, and <laughs> like, balls to the wall. I know in, in the beginning, you too, bro. I, I tried to be really, I tried to be interactive and like respond to almost every question I got. And finally, I was like. There's not enough time in the day. I can't do it. No. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure the algorithm is just, it's not centered around giving you things that you like. It's just centered around keeping you scrolling. So it that is. way yeah. you go through yeah. That's it. much more uh, ads. By the way, every fourth is an ad. You're welcome. Now you can never unsee it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, hey, Derek. And every fourth, every fourth what? Fourth every fourth post, post. Every fourth post is, ad. Oh. is an ad. And and once you and right once now you know that you can never unsee. Right it. now it's all like politicians. Yes. Yeah, yeah. vote oh, for me. But this is vote this for is me because funny. my opponent my opponent eats <laughs> babies. There is no one <laughs> that <laughs> I interact yeah. with That's more on social media than like Jake. Mark. Yeah, and right. And, and, and you don't the, see my uh, stuff. The election, and I the never stuff. see it's his like stuff. You get online at all. I never any Facebook. It's register to vote. Register to vote. It's fucking ridiculous. He sits there. people the worst things about Facebook, like you're doing right now, and people won't get off. Facebook, it's, a, it's right. It's addictive. At the, at the end of the day, people forget it's, that Facebook, it's still YouTube, cool. and Twitter, and all these things are pretty much private enterprises. Yeah. They will do whatever they want, and if they want to control a certain narrative, oh yeah, they're gonna do they, it. They have teams of like psychiatrists and people that analyze oh, yeah. your thoughts. Yeah, to, you're, to you're, getting, you're getting deep into it now. Yeah, deep. yeah. yeah. It's funny are, we, are we gonna get to lizard stop. people? That's yeah. that. That's that. Thomas was like. Thomas was almost like inspired. He's like, Donnie, you're, 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 that's amazing that you quit Facebook. I'm going to oh. quit Facebook today. Oh, I haven't. That I day, that it. dude was on his phone on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, feel, Donnie. So that's, that, that's that propaganda. So here, you know here's a I mean. new crazy one for Facebook. You know I mean? that and Brian, you, you remember it was like a year ago or so when I was talking about some random tools and Facebook yeah, yeah. advertising We were at Paula me. Dean's restaurant. Yep. Yeah, yep. and it was yep. like I, I, we, we were at uh, Workshop Tools, and I saw someone. I'm like, man, I like a kit like this, but mm -hmm. I want it more like this. And then they showed me an advertisement, yep. and I see it, and I'm like, it was like 200 bucks. I'm like, no, nah, this is a kit. It should be way cheaper than that. We got done with dinner. I opened my phone back up. It was a cheaper kit. I'm Dude. Like, there's no way they're not listening to me. Dude, well, so, oh, hey, so, hold on. so recently we were talking about shops. The fact that I wanted a bigger shop, I was running out of space. 
and then that evening, my metal whole buildings. newsfeed was full of metal buildings. Yep. Donnie, and I clicked on yeah, one, Fox and that's one Mulder. of the ones they're doing. <laughs> yeah. well, and, and I ended up buying the second tool cheesecake. set that they recommended to me. <laughs> we'll say cheesecake. I bought it. Donnie. <laughs> the fucking yep. ads will be goddamn but, cheesecake. Yeah, just, just recently, though, you know, two of my tie-down chains are missing from the back. And I'm like, well, shit, I need these chains. And Always. all I was doing was talking about it. Yeah. I pull out my phone. A fucking ad for Harbor Freight of some chains that were on sale yep. was was right there, top of my Facebook feed. Now here to, to get even further, they had them on sale half price. So this forty dollar <laughs> chain is now twenty bucks. You Hell yeah! Chains, did you? you bought that well, shit, didn't I, you? I did buy it. This, this, <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is a different. Hold, it gets worse. <laughs> I clicked. No, Ben's Fox Mulder. No, it's this is a this is a heavy duty three eighths login log chain. It's it's good. I but I, I clicked the ad. It's on sale. It takes me through Facebook portal to yeah. the Harbor Freight website, but I'm through Facebook to do it. It's on sale. It has a coupon code. I'm like, well, I don't want to buy it online. I want to drive down there, so I want the coupon. I go to Harbor Freight's website to try and find this coupon. It doesn't exist. Mm. I try to put the coupon code in that Facebook is giving me. It does not exist. You know, huh. just about I had to order it through the Facebook Probably link wish. to get the damn <laughs> coupon code. Wow. Did, you, did you do I that? Did. I bought them. I bought two of them. So... <laughs> This is this is they just wonder. This is a thousand percent true. Donnie, do you or do you not have a fidget cube at your desk? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Have you ever seen an ad for a fidget cube? To no, d- I've never seen. Now you're gonna you're gonna right. listen. Listen, I I walked into Donnie's uh, just to tell you that I had watched that ghost stories thing. Oh, so good. It's really good. Yeah, it's really good. It's a it's a great movie. Y'all should watch it. It's a uh, Spooktober, you know, Sweet. it's um, Butters. but I had looked at it and I, I, I swear I didn't even say it out loud. I just made eye contact with the fidget cube and I was like, oh, fidget cube. I was like, it's been a while since I've seen one of them. Within like six hours, <laughs> I'm getting ads for a fidget cube well, you know why and it's repeated. Cube. It's re- it, it, it repeat. I was like, oh, I've fidget. never seen an ad no, for I, a fidget cube. I, I, I swear to God, cube. the other day, the other day I noticed a new ding on my car. It looked like it was, um. It, it looked like it was done by, like, a shopping cart. Did yeah. Diane throw and his fidget cube at your car? Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. No. <laughs> it, it, and, and I just kind of, like, took my thumb to it. I was like, is that dirt or is that a scratch? I was like, damn, that's a scratch. And I, di- I didn't say anything out loud. I get home from the grocery store, and all of a sudden I'm getting, like, scratch remover yeah. ads. I'm like, so this it's reading your thing mind. is it's hearing crazy. our thoughts. Yeah. That's why you get out. Get out while you can. Yeah. I'm on I Facebook thought, right now. I've thought about creating a dummy Facebook cheesecake. page because I can't because I have my Sob Kyle page on Facebook and I have to have a personal page attached to it. Obviously, I thought about creating a fake profile to be as, as the admin and then deactivate mine. <laughs> I did that. Mine. You did that. <laughs> I did. I did that. You did that. <laughs> Cause, well, because my personal page, I get banned a lot. Oh. <laughs> so I had to create. I had to create. <laughs> I had to create an alter ego. So I always have a backup way. Too many. <laughs> too many titty pictures. Uh, yeah. Brian, Brian can, you, can, you, can you pass me that? <laughs> no, it's Rick. It's Rick Radcock. Rick Thank Radcock. you. Thank you. Oh man, I'm about to find that. It's my porn name. Uh, Rusty Shackleford. <laughs> Actually, I have not fidgeted today. Uh, I. Does somebody take my Brick name? McMahon huge. <laughs> actually, I have a fidget cube because I don't. I, I actually, I have been putting my phone in my desk, so I don't even look at my phone at all. Yeah, like, at all. So I just, I put you know, I in wish my desk, I could take from your example. Well, you always have the problem. It's terrible. It's fuck. It's. I mean, toxic, being man. when when you actually are able, to I've tried. To detach yourself for a period I've of time. Yeah. You realize how wonderful things were 10, 15 years ago. Like, I do so much business, so business yeah, through. I, I like that term, you're, detach yourself. You're, you're you have mind, to be able to detach yourself your from the social media. Your mind is constantly bombarded with My, things that you do not want to see. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Political if, ads. Yeah, it doesn't true. matter who yeah. you follow. It Tampon doesn't matter ads. who you're friends with. It actually, you're going to see so much crap. It's unbelievable. It just it stresses you out. Oh, it, yeah. It, yeah like, it, it ruins it just, your day. It eats at so you. Take yeah. it away. Take it away. Right. Like you see, no. <laughs> I won't do I mean, so bad. That's the thing. Our lives are run through social media yeah. now. My, My life mind. is social media. If I that's don't, how you make a living. If I don't post. See, you, nobody yeah. knows. It's different with yeah. you and Derek and Brian because I know. You, you have to. That's yeah. how you guys. It's like have I hate it, but I have to have it. You have to. It's a it's a it's so a you, necessary evil. I have a question for you. Yes. While we get back into like the interviews right. part of things, <laughs> have you ever had a real job? I saw the pharmacy thing. Have you? Ever, I, did you ever work I, for a pharmacy? I worked for CVS for a period of time. 
while I was in school. Right. I graduated in 2013, but never actually practiced as a licensed pharmacist. Damn, I'm old. Are you a licensed pharmacist? I am. But you said, fuck that. Oh, yes. Dr. Kyle I'm reviewing over here. cars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I maintain my license every year and stuff just, just to. Have just it. in case. Just in case. And YouTube says, nope, we're but done with you. When Absolutely. I graduated, I was all up in the car reviews. As soon as I graduated, I, I started getting emails from manufacturers. Actually, the, the first two press event invitations I got was for the 2014 Kia Soul and the 2014 Rolls Royce Wraith. There you go. Total yeah. polar opposite. <laughs> wow. <You're> right. <laughs> yeah. You do still need pharmaceuticals. You do sell drugs. Posting those videos. I'm telling you. It's like, it just, I'm telling you, man. You think I'm crazy? <laughs> You're crazy, but, I mean, man. It's, just, <laughs> it's 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 a toxic thing. I started. I mean, with doing yeah, dealerships in the beginning. I'm scrolling now, I just on Facebook now, and I fucking hate myself for well, doing bam. it. Yeah. yeah. There, maybe, I, I like the way you say that. There are people that get addicted to the videos. Yeah. 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 I get messages almost daily. People are like, man, where are you posting another video again? Yeah. yeah. Man, we ain't seen hey, a video in a while. What are yeah. you yeah. doing well, a video well, again? Well, Remember? I mean, y'all seen it? They're posting on the Sundown page. Like, we haven't seen an unofficial video in a long time. I've seen that. They're posting on your thing. About his shit. Yeah. They post yeah. on this show's uh, come out comments. But hey, when's Derek posting video? Right. I, I see him in your I see him in your <laughs> yeah. podcast room. You got Fuck. Time, you got Whenever time, he feels like it. Time to be on a podcast. You got something to make videos and for us. And the thing like, is, he's not your monkey. <laughs> yes, that's an extra degree of stress for the creator because yes. speaking from experience. So, for example, for the the two forty, I have a. You know, a lot of people that love the 240, a lot of people that wanted to see videos of it in the six months that I took off. But I finally make a 240 video, and then we need more S10 videos. That's all it's I've been doing the last six months. It's a back and forth. It's just like, you can't it's win. Just it makes you crazy, you man. You can't win. <laughs> I would say we need a new plague, but that already happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's, we're still in the middle of it. Hey, we're all manly guys here, but I'm going to take a second. Do we have any more you. claws left? <laughs> I don't know. Do you mean white, white claws? White claws. I, I, I think there are on the top of there. Let me take I, my headphones I off and find a, out for you. This is my first white again. claw. It's actually pretty good. I, I, yeah, they're, they're, they're you know, actually I, I always gave people crap fun. about white claws, but I had one the other night, actually, while we were watching one of your videos. Danny, we are completely out of alcohol at that whole fridge right here. Whoa. Okay. So it's just it's like you got a lot of big guys around here. I got this good stuff over here. No, 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 no. Di Sirotto oh, and Amaretto. Donnie, drink the perfume. <laughs> Di Sirotto, that's a I, car. I, I, um, I want to believe. What? Di Tomoso, that's what I'm thinking. Believe what? Aliens. I'm feeling pretty the good. X-Files. It's an X-Files quote. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got it instantly. I love the X-Files. Derek. Derek and I would... <laughs> He's good. Wow. No that shit Whoa. just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes the X-Files anymore. It's like, a, it's like, a, it's like I like, old school. I like the yeah. original <laughs> X-Files, and they did the, the reboot, and the reboot sucked. From? And Mushrooms. I don't like it. I don't like Mushrooms. it more. Speaking, <laughs> that's the only episode like, I've ever Speaking watched Speaking of the X-Files, X-Files, have you ever watched Californication? No. Back when it was out? Ooh, that, David that, Duchovny's going to be in yeah. the new Craft Remake. David Duchovny. Did you know that? He's I've, the dad in the new Craft Remake. Dude, yeah, dude's I've not like a liked, sex addict. I've not liked David Duchovny in anything else but X Files. <laughs> do you guys know the Craft, the 90s movie? Yep. The Craft. I've seen no. the well, they're, they're, they're remaking it, but David Duchovny is the dad, man. That's awesome. I'll watch it. It's going to be on Hulu, I think, at the end of this month. Hulu. I just started watching cheesy. The Twilight Zone. The new Twilight Zone? No, the old one. Oh, the original. The old, the original's awesome. It's kind of cool. I like the Gremlin one on the airplane. The, the one that I, I, I like, like season five or something. Yeah. Uh, Can't remember. One on well, the you've seen the pilot. The, yes. the pilot episode's the the astronaut guy. Ah, that's the pilot where he, where he's like he he's looking around the town. There's nobody yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, talking yeah. to himself, and right. turns out he's like an astronaut going through training. Right. That was the first episode they ever did, and then yeah. followed by uh, one for the one for the angels, one yes. for the angels, the salesman. Yeah. Which I've always I you know I, I did retail for a long time so that episode had a I think it's what made you crazy Donnie right. angels. <laughs> but I like the the little the, the 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 old lady that's living in the farmhouse and the flying saucer comes and lands in her attic and the little men coming out of it that's a good one too I can't remember what it's called do you think Donnie that your experience in retail has made you more paranoid person yes more what paranoid, paranoid? Th- did you Absolutely, yeah. the shit 
That well, I, I've been I've been robbed at gunpoint. Yep. I've been exactly. Yeah, I, I didn't know if you wanted to bring that up, but that is, actually, my yeah, has been yeah. threatened several times over yeah. wow. a totally. copy of Need for Speed Underground. <laughs> 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 you know, I've sold so many copies of Need for Speed Underground. Donnie, they had a Need for Speed. <laughs> I've sold all the Need for Speed. That was one of my favorite and games. Of twelve years of selling Need for Speed, they finally gave me it's one. It's funny because it's cool, mad. Uh, I can't remember the one they gave me for free. It was one of the most one of the more recent ones. It was like right as I was leaving GameStop. They're like, here's this Need for Speed Hot or whatever the hell. <laughs> <laughs> they redid Hot Pursuit. That's what it was. Yeah. It, I don't think it was that. It I was, was a like, big Need it for was Speed like a, kid it was when like, it came out. It was out. like playing a movie because you couldn't do like a campaign thing. Like you literally were like. Like playing a movie for Fast and the Furious, it was yeah. Whatever that one was, that's yeah. the one that they gave me for free. Thank you, GameStop. Yeah. Um, and it was. It was to beep that out, cool. probably. Pacock GameStop. Oh, do you got to pacock that? Prop. I don't know. Fuck it. I would pacock. That. <laughs> I would pacock that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, why? I, I've got a beeper I know, button I now. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I did it for like twelve years. We're gonna go ahead and shut this down. We're at. Uh, well, we're out about an hour and a half, a little bit more than an hour and a half. So wow. we'll go ahead and shut this down. Um, I want to thank the, the two of you very much for, for coming today. Thanks for having thank us. Thank you so I've much, I've had a lot guys. to drink. It's hard for me to talk right now. <laughs> um, Kyle, how can people reach out to you? So YouTube, Saab, like the car, it's S-A-A-B-K-Y-L-E-0-4. And then on social media, it's Saab Kylo 4 LLC. All right. Boom. Awesome. And does Instagram? <clears throat> All Instagram, Instagram cake, Facebook, and yeah, Twitter. Facebook. Uh, uh, ben? Extraordinary Audio at Gmail or Extraordinary Audio Facebook, Instagram, or 336-414. Yeah, if you're in the, the triad area, go how ahead. Can, how can we get you guys on TikTok? You can't. You can't. We're not young <laughs> enough. Everybody look at that camera right there. Give a big thumbs up. Have a good night.